somewhere, but we went out there. The uh, the captains went out there. We usually shake hands. Um, you know, wish everybody good luck. They didn't they didn't reach out their hands, um, so that that was a little weird. Um, you know, and then our our guys are warming up. You know, doing our pregame, and uh, you know their their head coach walked through the through the warm up. So we we immediately knew you know what type of game this was. Uh, so so after the game, because they didn't want to shake shake our hands before the game, I went up to their head coach and shook his hand. Uh, and, you know, told him good game. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> what, what did he say to you? Nice what did he say? Was it to beat him then? Oh, he, uh, the the moment he didn't shake our hands, I knew we won. So I, I was extremely calm. Uh, I thought Drew was going to kick a 50-yarder to win. That's what I was telling myself at halftime. But, I mean, how good did they feel at halftime? Didn't shake our hands, up 10. I mean, they were probably in that locker room going crazy. But it, it, felt, it felt great to beat them. Um, I mean, trophy game, everything was on the line. I told them. I told them how. Oh. <laughs> I told them how they didn't shake our hands at the beginning of the game, and then I went up to them after the game and shook his hand. Yeah. But that's... The, but you want to know? You want a little more tea? What's more tea? <laughs> so the first series, we were on their sideline, and you know I got got a little close to their head coach, and I said, probably wasn't a good idea to not shake our hands. And he goes, "Who are you?" How many times I have? Enough. <laughs> <laughs> More than him. More than him. Uh, that's fun. Well, at least I don't got to play them guys. Did he also <laughs> walk through our? Yeah, I told him about how yeah, he walked he through. Walked through. Yeah, that was, not that was pretty cool. Yep. That was pretty cool. I told him about that. Yeah. But would, would he K- walked out pretty cool would too, right? Would KF ever no. do something like no. Kirk Ferentz? No. Would he ever do something like that? No. That is just. Oh, that's amazing, guys. Yeah, come to Iowa. Come to Iowa. <laughs> come, be a, come be a hawk. Be a hawk. You see her there for us. Yeah. Jay, did, did Coach Rule say anything to you after you shook his hand? Um, I, I don't remember. I was just really happy we won. <laughs> so what was the lasting impression that uh, their Coach made on you? Um, the la- I'll, I'll remember that handshake probably for the rest of my life. Because uh, I, I think that was the first time ever that I didn't get a handshake as a you know, going out there at midfield, and it was just great to give him a, a final handshake. I think there's a significant difference between Kirk fans. <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. What, what was your halftime locker room? Oh, I mean, I, I was comfortable. Last game in Kinnick Stadium. Um, I mean, I, we, we were going to do anything to win this game. Uh, offense came through. Caleb made a Heisman play. Uh, I mean, he should be on that ballot. We don't have to get into it, you know, the whole ballot things. But, um, you know, we, we, we always seem to find a way with these games, you know. Always seem to find a way, always uh, seem to keep fighting. Did Max know that he had that fumble? He, the, way, the way he celebrated, he, he knew right away. Um, my angle, I couldn't see it. Uh, I, knew, I knew he bl- like he t- got the sack on the side of the ball. Um, but just the way he got off the ground so quick, he, he, like, he knew something that we did. How did you guys uh, shut him out in the second half? They marched right down, yeah. missed a field goal. I'm sure that was a big play, but what did it take to kind of keep them off the scoreboard and give your offense a chance? Yeah, I mean, they, they were moving the ball. Um, they, they had the run game going. Um, you know, it's kind of like Ben don't break. Uh, they, they were moving the ball. They had some good, good plays, made some great plays on third down. Um, you know, just extending drives and stuff like that. Um, you know, but we, 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 we kept playing. When it was time to get off the field, we got off the field. Jay, I caught you walking off the field for that, that last moment. Where it seemed like you were soaking it all in. How, yeah. how did it feel? And Yeah, yeah just being in the middle of Kinnick, um, it, it's, it's nothing like it. it. It's nothing like it. I mean, it, it's cold. It's, it's really cold out there for, for people to show up, you know, after their Thanksgiving. Uh, to support the Hawks, um, I mean, and, and to give them a performance like that to win for them, uh, it, it's just great. You know, I I have never played anywhere else, so Kinnick Stadium's all I know. But I, I'm sure you know, Nick Nick you know loves Virginia as well, but I'm sure that environment's just a little a little, a little different, different, a little, a little different. Big Ten, a little colder, a little colder, a little different, a little different, special, 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 special spot. This has to be a crazy last game for you, too. I mean, like yeah. you just said, like this, the handshake line didn't shake your hands. Shut out in the first half. You know what? Caleb has that big play. Crazy. You got the Max one, you got the strip sack, and then 
the walk off. I mean, that that's just a crazy yeah. ending. To yeah, I think you're looking at Caleb's <laughs> biggest fans. I mean, we 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 were big on Caleb. We're high on Caleb. I mean, he he's got to be. I think he's top ten off the board. I mean, if you ask me. I mean, yeah, he's doing in the Big Ten. So, um, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's numbers. Numbers. <sighs> numbers online. Nick, I saw your reaction to the call getting overturned on the strip sack. Nick, can you just walk me through that that emotion that you guys are getting the ball back inside the 40 with a chance to win the game? I mean, there's there's nothing like it. I mean, it's your, it's your senior night. I don't care how many senior nights you got. I mean, it's what, three, four for me? <laughs> <laughs> but it's just one of those, man, it's, it's special. Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, you just know all these guys, man, and how, how much they, they pour into this program. How much we just love each other, we buy in, the ups and downs we've been through this season. And just to have that last game at Kennedy, I mean, it was just a, a story, you know, ending. This guy's about to cry. Who is this kid? I don't even know how to describe it, man. Did you guys have any doubt that that, that uh, Drew was going to make that field goal? No doubt. No doubt. I know. I, I literally looked at it. I said, "Okay, was that 53? Yeah, He's got it." Yeah. I mean, you've seen his kicks this year. Yeah. He looks like a 55 yard. He's got 10, yeah. 15 more yards. Yeah. Yeah. And then the first one looked like money. The first one looked so good. We were. After, I think that helped us. Yeah, I think that was. I think us, let, us let us let him get a go. Yeah, that yeah. helped us. That was really good coaching. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's somewhat of a redemption story. I mean, last year against Nebraska.